Hello and welcome to this uh, third and last video of the series of the mini series dedicated to the new strip of my DIY remote control project. The one that you are seeing here is the finished PCB produced and assembled by PCB Way, which is uh, sponsoring also this uh, third uh, video of this mini series. Uh, before to start, as always, I would like to kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel uh, and to give a thumbs up to the video if you like it and to hit the bell. This is really helping me uh, a lot in uh, keep on updating you on the project and uploading uh, new content like this. So, first of all, here is the most important novelty. So, the new display. This is the 0.96 inch display that I was announcing. The rest of the upper surface is substantially the same other than the fact that uh, it is much smaller. There you go, you can see it side by side. As you can appreciate the new version, the version 7, respect to the old version 6, is much smaller. There you go. The button here are closer, as you can see, respect to this one. It doesn't exist anymore, this part dedicated to the debug, uh, um, uh, debug LEDs, which has been substituted by the display. Then if we turn it on the other side, here we can really so see all the news. Let me just focus, okay. So, here you have the connector, the 13 pin connector for the uh, display. Here you have the, here you have the uh, 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 transistor for the PWM. As you can see here you have the uh, uh, header, the pin header that is used to switch between uh, uh, full power in terms of background lights of the LED of the um, display or uh, the PWM based dimmed lights plus the capacitor and resistor for the circuit here. Other change you can see here, this is the crystal oscillator that I was mentioning in the first video. And finally, here you can see the hardware uh, switch to define what is the number of the channel for, uh, through which this uh, specific circuit is presenting itself to the main board of the console with the uh, legenda here. Let me turn it that way. There you go. Some other change is present here in the decoupling circuit but it's not that important and, and so not worth uh, to mention and there you go you can see the uh, channel implemented i put it at, in the place of the eighth channel of the console nothing changed in terms of the connectivity so one connector for power one connector for uart connectivity that's it, it was for the old and it is for the new, so I can swap one and the other. Fortunately, I cannot put it inside the, uh, this version of the chassis because this is much smaller as we saw before, but everything is working perfectly. This is the, uh, uh, the display. If I touch here, you can see the capacitive, which is uh, fully working. If I switch, there you go. Now it is. Let me do this. Sorry. Now it is uh, uh, channel uh, track number eight, which is named name Triangle. Then if I switch, now it goes uh, track number ten, which is called PS lead. As you can see, everything is perfectly and accordingly reacting, and it's working as expected. I have eight of this track which has been produced for me by PCBY, so it's uh, uh, I can fully replace 
uh, the old version of the channel. I just need to decide if I want to keep this version of the console uh, as, a, as, a, as a historical, uh, as version 01, produce a new chassis reduced, which is something that I will have to do anyway, uh, and uh, 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 buy uh, nine uh, new uh, um, flying feathers here in order to, to build a version 2. Uh, of course, I mean, buying nine uh, uh, of these uh, fader uh, costs a lot of money. So, I mean, uh, I need to decide if I want to spend the money or if I want to reuse this one, in which case I will have to basically trash this first version because I will not have any more uh, the, the faders available. I, this is something that I will think uh, a little bit more about. But that's it. Other than that, as I, I have already tested that everything is working, let me run it, sorry. And there you go. Let me do this so we can appreciate it better. So if I put it solo, Then if I switch here to PS lead and then I move that, there you go, there you go. And now as you can see, it's track PS lead. So that's it. I want to give another thanks to uh, PCBWay, which have produced the PCB and assembled every uh, component. So thank you very much for sponsoring this uh, uh, series. And thanks to you for watching uh, this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. <laughs>